Hey guys, I'm Satorial Phil. Welcome back to my channel. So I have another unboxing for you. I created an unboxing of the first item that I got, so I'll link it to here if you haven't seen that. So I've already taken them out of the dust bag. There's one for each, and it has Dior and Birkenstock on it. These are the Milano style slippers. And they're very much similar to their, their most famous model, the Arizona, but this has the addition of the heel strap. And essentially the footbed is the same as other Birkenstocks. It's using the exact same material. And I find the sizing to be the same because again, I think they're just using the same footbed. What's different though, with their limited edition ones or their 1774 lines is the footbed is lined with leather, which this one is as well. It's smooth calf leather. And then the another big difference is of course they're using the Dior men's buckles, which was a collaboration with Alix. So here you have two of them. This is in the black new book for this style, the Milano. They made two versions of it, I believe. So there's this black nubuck and there's the gray felt or gray wool version. So this one, I did try them on already and I've adjusted this to make them tighter because I found the fit to be a bit looser and it might just have to be with how thin or flexible the nubuck leather is because I do own a pair of just a regular Birkenstock Milano in an oil leather, so it's much more rigid, but I think the buckle also is able to tighten more than this can. So this one in the back, it's the buttons and you have four adjustment holes, so it can be adjust, adjusted so it'd be a bit tighter. In the back, you have the limited edition stamp. And this is size 40, which is my usual size. And then on the bottom, you have the collaboration. This is, I think this is probably the coolest. How they seem to mesh pretty well from the Dior pattern to the Birkenstock, what they call the bone pattern. And all of the sandals or slippers retail for 1100 US dollars. What I have noticed the same with the mules is the sole seems to protrude a little bit more than with the just regular Birkenstock. So you can see there's more overhang between the sole and the footbed here. And since I have the Birkenstock model, I figured I would just give you a quick comparison. You can see that it has been used. The buckle is different. This is the regular Birkenstock buckle. It has it for all of the straps, including the back one. And you can see because this is a rigid leather, it's staying up, whereas this new buck collapses a bit. However, these buckles are easier to take on and off. So, and there's a flap on the bottom. I kind of wish they did this for the back strap as well, or maybe a smaller version of this, but I guess it might get too heavy with that and this one might end up falling and this is in the standard I believe it's the standard width so I don't think it's the narrow version I think it's the regular width so next I'll try these on for you so you can see what they look like on
And that's my video. Thank you for watching. I'll link to the first one as well if you haven't seen that. So you can compare the two models in this collaboration between Dior and Birkenstock. Subscribe for more videos and check me out on Instagram for the latest updates and exclusive content. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.